Welcome back everyone and welcome to Banner Saga. So, we left off, we've done Act 2 now, we're on to Act 3. So we've gone back to the, uh, what are they called, Val? Val. Um, we've done everything in the camp, let's move on. Escorting this bloody dickhead of a dude. Because otherwise we're buggered. Otherwise, all of our, like, oh, here we go. Look at that, says Mogger. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. We could just easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Luden overhears. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strad, he says. You ask him which... You ask him when he started to care about Strad. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. Um... No, let's go take them down. The caravan stops and waits while you lead a small detachment up the hillside to take care of the dredge quickly. You tell Ludden to stay by the caravan. He folds his arms and mutters something about being treated like a child. Well, you weren't much good in the last fight, were you? You tried to go up against four of them and you bit fucked. Right. Uh, so you can't use much will at one turn, but you've got huge armor breaking. Good armor breaking. You just deal a lot of strength damage. You guys' strength damage is pretty damn good as well. And you are more support. Okay, let's go. Those guys are more support. Let's get this going. I think I'm slowly getting the hang of how this game works. When you, The only problem I have is that every single ability seems very important. What the fuck is this placement? Um, what are you? You just do damage. You've got eight armor. I should be able to hit through that pretty quickly. Um, okay, no one huge here. No one huge. Um, I don't like you there, though. I want you more back there. And I'll have you there. Mm, who's got the better armor? No, you have better armor, I think. 14. I will switch positions. You go there. You go over here. Quickly take out this dude. You take out this dude quickly. You try and take out this dude by holding these up. And then these guys come in and help mop up. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's just get in. Deal with these assholes quickly because they're in our fucking way. What does that do again? Um, strength damage plus one. One break to target. One break added to heavy impact. So how much is that going to do? 10% chance to hit. Strength damage plus one. Mm, or... How much does normal attack do? See, I'm going to do... F oh. I could just say fuck his shields. Don't want to use that much. Because he's going to take me... He's going to hit me once. going to take me down once. If I do one will... He's going to be able to do fuck all damage to me. Well, you've just fucked off over there. That makes it all right for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, bring the pain. Big damage to target. Plus one to return the favor. Mm. No, 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 no. Let's get you guys down quickly. You can do a load. Okay. Why are you fucking? What are you doing that for? Is it because you had to move? Um. Let's go there. Let's take him down as quickly as possible. I'm not fucking around. I don't want any of these guys injured because we never know what's coming up. Um, just move up. Um, don't do anything else. Where are you going? Well, you're dead. So that's fine. Boom, Gaza. How far can you walk, mate? How far can you walk? That's what? Um, somebody else can take him on. I'm just going to get through... Get through his. Get through his defenses. This is exactly what I wanted. He's taking the brunt of it. Uh, you go here. Finish him off. Easy as pie. Leave him alone. Um, just do something. You can always call willpower back. There you go. He'll be easy as pie to take now. 
Um, ah, bugger. Get over there. Sharpish. I don't want him dying. That's all I can do. No, 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 no. Shit. Um... Shit. I'm hoping, actually, you uh, you can't kill him. He's basically useless. Shit. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. That's not what I wanted. Can't believe that. They just fucking go for whoever they bloody want. I go here because you can attack both of these fuckers then. Go for that, dude, because he's the strongest of the ones. There we go. And he's fucking dead, so that's good. Um, You go here, take this dude out. Yeah, just take him out. I'm not worried about these guys now. These guys can get through it. I'm a bit pissed off that he died. Because I'm like, ugh. There we go. Another one done. And now you're dead. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm a bit annoyed about it. letting Eric die. That's not good. I can't have people injured. You don't know what's coming up. Mm. Bugger. Have we got seven now? That's always good. Now... Oh, shit. I was about to click camp then. Hark on. You can hear Ludin's hard-booted throat. Um, tr no. Hard-booted trot. <laughs> As you set up camp the first day. And brace... Oh, we set up camp. That could be good for Eric. And brace yourself. Can we speak? As equals. We can try. It seems clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way. Am I right? You're not wrong. Kill any, you know, that, those things could go um, hit the people of Strahd. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Val can fight. Do you understand me? That is my banner we fly to Gothheim. The banner of Aberang. I insist on joining in battle. Almost gutted in your first encounter and ready for more? Gutted. Uh, whatever you like, Prince. And uh, I expect more resistance. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I expected more resistance. From Vognir, maybe. And tell me you were his kinder. They tell me you were his ki kinder. That's why you take... And that's why you're in charge now. I can't read today. Some sort of next of kin? Val thing? Don't you take on his responsibilities? Uh, in my own way. And stop acting like I'm a thorn in your side. When you're nearly 200 years, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man. Is that right? Seriously. Better start. Or both be kings someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Lydon looks at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was in his mind. Hmm... On it, oh, on excursions. You've gotten some characters with high excursion. Don't overlook this important stat. Excursion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three excursion lets you add three damage to every attack or move three spaces further than usual. If you've got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally as important in combat. Choose wise. Yes, I've already worked that mess out. Um... Where's my heroes? That's leave. I don't want to leave yet. I'll speak to these guys. I want to see what state my heroes are in. Oh, what the hell? Oh, so we've got his people now. Yeah, Versa, Lidin, Besai. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Two days. You can be promoted, but we don't have huge amounts of renown. So I think I might leave you for now. What do you do? Um, the character skews his enemy doing normal strength damage before kicking them away. Doing not back and causing them to bleed if they move on their next turn. A target who is bleeding will take one strength damage for each tile that they move. Which can't... Ooh. 
We don't have anyone who uses things as a battering ram. Okay. Yes, sir. This character throws a five-tile air of slag onto the ground, which explodes immediately. Targeted tiles take the damage seen below. Uh, two strength damage and leave up to two coal. It also leaves randomly placed burning coal on unoccupied tiles. If targeting an enemy tile, coals always appear on the center tile first. Walking over the burning coals causes one strength damage. Interesting. What about you? Uh, Tempest. Okay, so, okay, that's fine. How do you get those ranks up? Like, has Gunnolf's rank gone up in it? I don't know. No, he's rank two, so yeah, it's just actually upgrading them. He's got to kill one more before he can be promoted. Okay. Um. Having will is handy, but you are very squishy. In a way, you're even squishier than Ludden. Hmm. You can do more armor damage in the long run. And you can give. But for now, let's take him off. I want archers up first. Oh, that's going to be annoying. No. Go back. Um, yeah, because then while he's resting, these guys can take the bunt of it. Okay, okay. I I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go speak to Yosef first. See what she's all about. Yosef, right? She watched you approach with her head tilted back and points her thumb towards Ludin's tent. No. Here for you. Oh, okay, that's Harkon speaking. I was, I was confused. Why is she saying that? Oh. Can we talk? Yusha shakes her head no. A smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. Okay. She's a funny bugger. In those two curious contradictory words, you get two impressions. She has a beautiful obsidian voice, and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectantly. You don't talk? No. You do, though. I don't. About the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Val and Fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. She's very talkative. If you're going to use them, she pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist and you don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls to the ground, smouldering. Half the camp is turned to watch. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, don't tell me not to. Don't tell me not to. Oh, okay. Um, you Ludin's bodyguard? No, he's mine. Before you have the chance to con um, to be confused, she cackles, abrupt and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. You are his personal guard, though. Your expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Lydin? Luck. Oh, this has been fun. She crosses her arms, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Yuris. Archon, you stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She puts her forefinger to her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Alright, you're a bit weird. Cool. Uh, you were up there a minute ago, weren't you? Alright, let's go talk to Bersai. Bersai? Bersai? You have a moment. As you approach, Bersai, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book reading type. You're Bercy. You're Harkon. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? Oh, great. So they're all a bit awkward. I had some questions. Say what you want to say. At least he's a bit more to the point, I suppose. What's a Val working for Ludden? What's a Val doing working for another Val? What difference does it make? Fair point. It doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look like you're in charge right now. So do me a favor. Uh, it looks like you're in charge right now. So do me a favor and don't get Ludden killed. I wasn't planning on it because we kind of need him. Otherwise, like our relationship between man and Val is basically fucked. 
is important to you? No, but that's one way to put it. What? Where do you learn to fight? Same way as you, by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed, well, protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah, not anymore. I've had a lot of jobs. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? I'm assuming he's going to have Ludden's back. Assume what I'm looking at for myself and you'll figure it out. Okay, fair. Does Ludden understand that? Ludden doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. I won't keep you any longer. See you in the battlefield, O oh leader of Val. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Ludden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there's a bit of a threat behind that gravelly request. That's what I was thinking. Oh, great. So, Ludden's people are a little bit... Um, how to put it? Temperamental. They don't look... Mm. If Ludden turns out to be a wanker and betrays us, what the fuck's going to happen then? You overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stomp some slag as much as the next file. But I didn't join up to take orders from Harkon, says one. Apparently he doesn't realise you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him either. Nah. This is Val and he's a big brute. Threaten the... No, challenge him to a fight. This is like... Like lion pride type of shit here. Just get down dirty. Come on, you want to fucking fight then? I don't fight. Who will you take orders from? You ask loudly. Vognir's dead. We can decide right now. You raise your fist. He does the same reluctantly. There we go, reluctantly. So he's already fucking looking like a fucking coward compared for his mates. His best shot. His best shot's not bad. We've had a lot worse. You grab him by the horns. Swing his entire massive frame through the air and plant him on the ground. What's his name? You ask his companions. Gris. Take care of Gris. You reply. You hear them laughing at his misfortune as you wander off. That, that's that got to give me some morale as well. Come on, because that's got to give morale to the other the other guys. A small gathering of tents come into view. Group of merchants from the look of it. You ask what they're doing here. We were camped out at the Godstone ahead, one tells you. Leaving an offering to Dunglear, as one does. His expression turns. Dredge start appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed... Though the Godstone be safe, but damned if I know why. Been dodging them since we left. Don't really need. I don't. I need to trade. I don't really want to spend the renown because I got a lot of people I want to upgrade. Just send them on their way. They thank you profusely. One stops as he passes. If you're passing by Dragon Glare, do me a favour. My wife's brother stayed behind. You know him by a necklace with many rings on it. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You nod. After a short time, they continue on. Okay. Fair. We've got plenty of supplies. We've got 63 days. But we don't have a lot of renown. I've spent a lot of it already. The caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line and then to Mogner, who tells you... Dredge know we're coming. Probably saw us back at Verdefell. And did their usual lurking. Could have been a bad if we plodded into them. But we saw them first. Ah, oh, shit. Another fight coming up then. Dredge watch you. Wait and see what you do. When's the last time you commanded a few hundred Harkon? Asked Mogner. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. <coughs> oh, fuck. We actually have to do a war. Okay. When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you will engage in war. Give as many give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties, or you can take burden on yourself with a harder battle to save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run, avoiding battle completely. Okay. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count, there must be at least 486 of them. 
and you have 185 fighters and 466, 466, 466 Val at your side. Okay. So, we do outnumber them by about 200. Just under 200. About 80. Even from here, you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. We can take them. Formations will charge. What do these... Do these do specific things? Like, the... I don't know what the fuck Overseer is. Charge or formations. Formations. You start comparing weaknesses and strengths. Take into account terrain, morale, and look of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Give the order. You start rallying your forces and gather your allies to you, preparing to enter the fray. Oh! I'm not going in first. Is that what that means? I wanted to go in first. It creates a lot of good morale. Uh, yeah, because you're injured for two days. So yeah, let's just take these guys in. I mean, we're going to have to fucking fight here. Uh, two beefy... Three beefy dudes! Um, Summon an ally. Summon an ally. Summon an ally. Bollocks. Uh, um, I don't like them spread out too much. Right, these dudes take down the armor, so these dudes to gain these dudes. Let's move everyone out of the fucking way first. And plan from there then. Right. You two are hitters. You're ranged. You're a bit meh. These two are the armor boys. So if we take you there, maybe. Give you a fighter. And Harkon up here with another fighter. I'm going to send the archer there and I want him next to that dude. Don't want to spread them out too much. Okay, she goes first, yes. Um, I want to use her ability because it seems like a good place to do her bit. Oh. It's a bit shit. Try that. That should leave slag so when they start walking that way. Um, move forward one. Stay there. You come. Oh, never mind. Why do you have to hit him for? Oh, he's got five. Look at that. Oh, it's him. Why do you have to hit him for? Again, I don't want him. I don't want him walking in there. This way. No, why did you walk that way? Fuck's sake! Oh, you miss it! For fuck's sake, this is not looking good. Right, you can just stay there and attack, and you're doing no damage. Shit. Right, where can you go that will hit him? You can hit him from there. Okay. Woo! Okay. Yeah, let's just take it down because I don't want him. I don't want him summoning in any crap. Oh, so you decide to fuck off and just batter him. Um. Take him down. Cause she's not moving. She's an archer, so she gets an extra strength hit. That's one down. That's fine. He'll batter you. Don't even know if I care about that. I want to get him in there. No, mm. no, 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 no. Smoldering hit on him. So that'll get the dude behind as well. There we go. Stop going for him. That's not fair. Get on with this quickly. Fucking hell. I need more health and armor on these guys. 
Fine, you're in my fucking way now. Oh, and you can't do shit. Get away. Just get out of there. Just get out of there for now. Um, wait. Shit. Oh, he's gone. Fuck's sake, man. This is hard. Get him down. Hmm, yeah. Get these bastards down. Whoa, you leave her alone. Well, that went well. No, I don't. Hmm. I don't want him summoning crap. Yeah, let's just get rid of his armor, then he can fuck off. Arr. Okay, so I need to come up with a better strategy. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're in my bloody way. I don't care about you. Um, stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. I don't want you dying. Kill him. That's him down. Hey. Only doing full damage. That's oh, because he's only got full strength left. Hmm. Wait a minute. No, because I'm just. Mm, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna. Harkon's gonna fucking die in a minute. All right. This is looking better. If I can get in there. Okay. Attack him. Okay, he's down. Oh, thank goodness. I can get you in over here now. Just don't matter anymore. Oh, I'm a little bit annoyed. I can get him from there. Attack him, and you're probably going to kill him. No? Oh, now you will. Ugh. Bloody hell. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy's being pushed back all the way down the line. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You don't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even revolt items they took from previous victims. I I haven't done well enough to fight more. Now, the dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into the distance. I only lost four fighters and eleven val. That's not horrendous, but not great. I think it could have been worse. I only got six renown for that. Fuck. Bollocks. We've got some more supplies. Oh, I should see if anybody needs upgrading. Should I set camp? Ah. Liddon has been sending scouts ahead. Quicker and more nimble than your Val. One rushes back just as you cross the hilltops, out of breath. Dredge. That direction. You overhear him tell Ludden. About a day away, they found a village. You ask what you, they're doing. Tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of, thousand of them, or more. Looking for God knows what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Ludden is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Draw some of them forward and split them. You send a small group of shield bangers to get their attention. They do. Half a day later, many dredge are giving chase up the hill in their plodding sort of way. Get ready to lay waste. Dredge line the battlefield. Weapons drawn seem available. Ah, oh, there's more of them this time. Fuck. Press your advantage. Charge. You consider taking your trusted allies and needing the charge. You're battering down the enemy, who throw you into the thick of the battle where fighting is most... A strong charge can save lives. Ah. <sighs> you're gonna get nastier enemies. Who's down? Uh, my archer girl is already weakened. Versailles is down. I'm gonna have to go for... A4. I'm gonna go for a formation again. What does... Hold them off, do. 
You consider making a wall um, skirt in the battlefield, buying enough time for you to help the weak and the wounded make their escape. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so it's like equal, like, you know, diminishing returns. You do take the top one, you take the brunt, but you lose, um, lose less. And as you go down, you don't have to do fuck all else, but you lose more and more. Okay. I want to start the formation. Let's get involved. Ooh, this is a quick turn of events, getting back on the Right. She's not too bad down. The gun offers three down and he doesn't have much as it is. Can I promote you now? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. Um. Put one into attack. Uh, I'm going to put most of that into defense. That way he doesn't lose his attack as much. Okay. Uh, Ludin, I'm going to promote him. Because I'm... If we're going to keep warring, I need to keep them up. Uh, that's use more will. That you need. He's going to need more. Then he does need more. Ugh, I'll just go for that. Ugh, uh, this is hard. Three. His strength is going to be minus three for the battle. It's still going to be 13, mind. That's still a lot higher than some of the others. And here's only his minus one, as long as I keep it back. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's go for that. I don't know if I've got the right order set yet. That's just something I've kind of got to work out as I play. Oh, let's fuck all of them. Oh, no, there's not. There's some back here. Some big boys back here. Okay. Well, these are changing. Um, You can take big boy. You go there. No, you go there. You go there. First size there. You can take that. Put you there. And I put you there in her way. Go for that. You can shoot him from there. Or can use that. Go for that. See what this does. Okay. I feel like that was a good plan. Uh, no. Go this way. No. No, you're taking big boy. Get in the way of big boy. Oh, I should have gotten that way, so it stops him going down that way. Uh, take it, okay. Let's take you down. Whoa, you got 16 armor. I didn't even see what you did. I didn't even see what... Knock back. Okay, not too bad. Let's get you involved. Bl again, block them from this. Yeah. I can't remember what that does exactly. There's a lot of... There we go. Mm. Back him up. I feel like this one's going to go alright. This feels a little bit better to me. You can attack him straight away. Let's just get in there. Do some damage. Now he can only do seven. He'll only do one damage. This isn't good. This... Um... Hmm. I'm moving one step this way. I can start breaking this dude's armor down. Oh shit. He's taking a beating, mind. You. Get on that. Go on, have him. Yes. Oh, fucking Slag's gone. Right, he's pissing off over here. That's fine. He's gone. Big dude's gone. That's fine. Shit. And their uh, armor's all pretty knackered, mind. Bring the pain. Not on you. You're fucking off. I go here. 
Spend one will. Tempest. Do two damage. There we go. That did that did some decent damage. I think. He's got one left. He's only got health left. And he's down. So bring him up here. I can attack him. Oh. Yeah, because I don't want him doing too much damage. Now he won't be able to do fuck all damage. Come on. Um. Yeah, because I can get up close because he's probably going to be able to kill him. And then a bit closer for the next turn. Yep, he's gone. Sorted. Alright. I wonder what would happen. Okay, shield dude. You're going to take a thing, but I'm just testing something out. He's going to take a bit of a hit, I think. I want to test something. Okay, that's handy. That is very handy. No more willpower for you. That's fine. Because I think it's just mop up now. Um, what are you? Seven health. You're the only bit kind of dangerous one. I'm not even that scared by that. Um, you're not the dangerous one. You're a bit more dangerous. So, have you? Uh, yeah. Let's just get rid of your armor. There we go. No, wait a minute. Couldn't I use... I don't have a thing, but I'm going to use that. Then I can hit two of them. Perfect. Um, don't really matter now, really. Because I think we're in a pretty good position. Like, not to carry on the fight, mind, but... A, three... Yeah, no, take this down. Yeah. You'll be dead. And she can kill him from here. Oh, she can't. What? He's dead now, anyway. Okay. There we go. Not too shabby. Um, nope. We are not doing any more that. We're not taking anymore. See, look, we lost 11. 30 vial that time. Fuck. No injuries from us. That's a, that's better than normal. Next time I might try a charge. All depends, actually. Oh, look, our vial have gone down to 45, mine. With the village still a day away, you're eating on the march. A vial approaches. We had words earlier, says Gris. You recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join your guard and fight at your side. Pride hangs on his posture and sincerity in his eyes. You've got one shot. You tell him to report to Mogar. I don't sit in the back line, make a mistake and you'll get your head caved in. Nobody will lose sleep over it. He nods and goes to speak with Mogar. Um, make camp. No one to talk to. Let's have a look at our heroes. See how they're doing. Because I want to have a look. Gandalf. Hmm. He is quite handy. How? I don't know. He can be promoted again. She can be promoted once. I think that's more important to get the basics up. Oof, your arm is awful. Put another one to armor, maybe? If I stand at the back, she can do... Oh, fuck it. Just get it out of the way. At least it's done then. I'm happy with that then. How much are you going to cost to promote? Probably 15 or something. Just higher stats now. 15, yeah. 
Mm. I don't want to. Mm. If you get his arm up to 12, then he'd be a lot more useful. He can do heavy damage. I'm going to leave him for now. Leave him for now. See what happens if I rest. My rest? There's training. Rest. Use one day. Now look at the heroes again. They should... Eric should be fine now. Same with... Yes, yeah, sir. Gonna have two days, so I might do... Eric's still down. How, many, how long is he down for? One more day. Oh, you know what? Probably shouldn't. I'm gonna rest for two. That way... We're ready because we've got a big fight coming up by the sounds of it. Big, big fight. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that where they are. But that is where we're leaving it for today, folks. Hope you're enjoying this series. It looks like we're starting to get proper involved in the game. They've given us the tutorial sections. We've had another tutorial for war. I don't see them being much more tutorial stuff. So we're just going to pick up from here and the action's going to get grittier. And hopefully I get better. Either way, please drop a comment, leave a like, maybe a subscribe, maybe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.